Hey guys, welcome to Technozar. This is Rohit Sharma. We are going to uh, solve some questions on semiconductor physics in this video. Okay, and uh, according to our preparation strategy, today's topic is semiconductor physics. Semiconductor physics in this uh, uh, topics which are covered is PN junctions, PN junction, drift and diffusion current, drift and diffusion currents, depletion widths, etc. These topics are covered in this. On this, we are uh, we will solve around six questions uh, based upon semiconductor physics and con and one concept named uh, called as Einstein relation. Okay. And uh, before starting the video, there is an announcement. Those who have not joined the Telegram group, please join it and attempt the quiz daily so that you can revise your concepts and uh, prepare for uh, prepare well for your exam. So let's start the video. Question number first, calculate the energy gap value for a silicon and germanium at room temperature. First, we are calculating for silicon. Okay, for silicon, uh, we know that energy gap is equal to energy gap at 0 degree Kelvin minus beta T, where energy gap at 0 degree Kelvin, beta is the material constant. Beta is the material constant and T is the temperature temperature in degree Kelvin okay for silicon beta is equal to that is the material constant that will be equal to 3.6 into 10 ki power minus 4 okay so while putting the values in this we have uh, calculate the energy gap value we have to calculate at room temperature room temperature that is 300 degree Kelvin or 27 degree Celsius therefore energy gap is equal to energy gap at 0 degree Celsius will be 1.21 1.21 for silicon minus 3.6 into 10 to the power minus 4 into temperature is 300 on solving this we will get 1.12 electro volt 1.12 electro volt at 300 degree kelvin this is for silicon now we will find for germanium same formula we will apply here eg is equal to eg naught minus beta t here beta for germanium will be equal to 2.23 into 10 to the power minus 4 while putting the value eg naught for germanium is 0 0.78 minus b minus 2.23 into 10 to the power minus 4 into temperature is 300 on solving things on solving this we will get energy gap at 300 degree kelvin or 27 degree celsius that is the room temperature this will be equal to 0 0.72 electro volt that will be the answer this is how we can calculate the energy gap value at room temperature for silicon and germanium okay so go to the next question what is the importance what is the importance of silicon compared to germanium you have seen every everywhere every place whether it is tv radio amplifier etc everything in each and everything we use silicon mostly mostly we use temperature Silicon temperature withstand capacity withstand capacity capacity for silicon is 200 degree Celsius but for germanium it is only 100 degree Celsius okay and second secondly the peak inverse voltage that is the peak inverse voltage rating for silicon is around 1000 volt and German, germanium is around 400 volt and silicon third silicon is cheap as compared to germanium silicon is cheap as compared to German, germanium therefore we use silicon compared silicon mostly in every device to com compared to germanium we have uh, seen three points here first is the temperature resistant capacity where for silicon it is 200 degree celsius and germanium it is 100 degree celsius Peak inverse voltage rating for silicon is 1000 volt, germanium for is 400 volt. And third is the silicon is cheap uh, as compared to germanium, therefore we use silicon. Question number third, explain why gallium arsenide is used in CMOS industry. Why? Why we use gallium arsenide uh, in C, uh, CMOS industry? It has one reason, the mobility of electrons. The mobility of electrons for gallium arsenide is around 8500 centimeter square volt second whereas for silicon it is 1300 centimeter square volt second and for germanium and for germanium it is 3800 
centimeter square volt second second point if we if we can say is gallium arsenide gallium arsenide can withstand temperature up to 2000 degree celsius but we have seen in the previous question that silicon can withstand up to 200 degree celsius and germanium can withstand up to 100 degree celsius this is the only two reason why we use gallium arsenide in the cmos technology and the most important thing is why we are doing these theoretical questions. We are doing this theoretical question because some objective type questions are based upon these questions in ISRO technical assistant exams. We, you, can, uh, you can be asked what is the mobility of silicon, what is the mobility of germanium, what, why gallium arsenide is used in CMOS technology. Assertion reason questions can also come on these. Therefore, I am, uh, I am taking those questions uh, by which we can understand the concept of semiconductor physics also we can do some numericals okay go to the next question as doping concentration increase in an extrinsic semiconductor what happens to the position of fermi level there are two types of extrinsic semiconductor that is n type and second one is p type what will happen to the position of fermi level in the case of n type semiconductor okay for an n type semiconductor the fermi level fermi level move towards towards the conduction band and for the p type semiconductor it will move towards the fermi level fermi level move towards the balance band valence band okay this is what they ask they have asked the position of fermi level fermi level moves towards the condensation band in n-type semiconductor and for point type fermi level moves towards the balance band okay about einstein relationship what is einstein relation einstein relation says that that our diffusion constant d diffusion constant d is directly proportional to our mobility okay Therefore, we can write D is equal to Vt mu, where Vt, where Vt is the Vt is the thermal voltage, thermal voltage, and Vt is also written as T upon eleven thousand six hundred. If we if we are calculating thermal voltage at room temperature that is three hundred degree Kelvin, or uh, 300 degree Kelvin upon 11,600. We will come out. Uh, this will come out to be 26 millivolt or 25 millivolt approximate. Okay. On room on room temperature, the uh, thermal voltage will be or the Vt will be 26 millivolt. Okay. And we can also write Vt is equal to Kt upon Q, where K is the Boltzmann constant. K is the Boltzmann constant k is is equal to 1.38 into 10 to 10 to the power minus 23 joule per kelvin q is the charge q is the charge in one electron that is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and uh, we know that t is the temperature okay and this is the formula for vt that is the thermal voltage and this is known as the einstein relationship where d is the diffusion constant diffusion constant and mu is the mobility mobility okay this is what i want to talk about this is very important because this vt this vt is also used if we uh, if we find the value for dynamic resistance uh, when we do analysis for di diode Dynamic resistance is also equal to Vt upon Id where Vt is the thermal voltage, Id is the drain current flowing through it. Okay. Therefore, Einstein relation is important there also. Okay. Next question we see what question number 5. The mobility of electron and hole in silicon sample are 0.125 and 0, uh, 0 0.125 and 0.048 respectively. Okay, for mobility of uh, electron, then mu n is equal to 0.125 meter square meter square volt second. Okay, 
and for hole mu p that is equal to 0 .0, 0 0.048 meter square per volt second okay and determine the conductivity we have to find the conductivity okay that is the sigma i we have to find this of intrinsic silicon at 27 degrees Celsius that is the room temperature if the intrinsic carrier concentration intrinsic carrier concentration that is ni is equal to 1.6 into 10 to power 16 atoms per meter cube when it is doped with 10 to the power 23 phosphorus atom doping that is nd nd is equal to 10 to the 20 10 to the power 20 23 atoms per meter cube first of all they have determined the whole concentration whole concentration that is the pi p we have to find p and we know that np is equal to ni square therefore p is equal to ni square ni square upon nd nd is equal to n ni square is ni square is 1.6 into 10 to the power 16 whole square upon nd is uh, nd is 10 to the power 23 on solving this we will get 2.56 into 10 to the power into 10 to the power 9 atoms per meter cube this is the con this is the whole concentration in this question p second what is the position what is the position of the fermi level related to the intrinsic level okay and uh, we are we also have to find the intrinsic conductivity asked earlier in this question uh, where determine the conductivity of intrinsic silicon silicon okay so for intrinsic silicon the formula is conductivity of intrinsic silicon is given by q n i mu n plus mu p we know that mu is the charge of a charge in one electron that is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 n i is given intrinsic, uh, intrinsic concentration that is equal to 1.6 into 10 to the power 16 mu n is also given in the in the quotient that is 0 0.125 plus mu p is 0 0.048 on calculating this the conductivity is coming out to be 4.43 into 10 to the power minus 4 s s is the si unit of conductivity okay and uh, now if we have to find the conductivity after doping after doping that is sigma uh, that is conductivity for n that will be equal to n q mu n because doping is only because of n type impurity okay so n is 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 into 10 to the power 23 23 and mu n is 0.125 that is equal to 2000 s this is the conductivity after doping and this is the intrinsic conductivity intrinsic conductivity okay also we have to find the position of fermi level position of fermi level related to the intrinsic level position of fermi level is given by the formula ef minus ei is equal to kt ln natural log nd upon ni okay on calculating this you will get 0.41 electro volt this is the answer this is how we can calculate uh, the questions based on semiconductor physics the last question we have we will do in this uh, in this video is question number six the intrinsic resistivity of germania intrinsic resistivity means rho I that is given as 0 0.47 ohm centimeter okay the electron and hole mobility electron and hole mobility is that is mu n is equal to 0 0.39 meter square volt second please 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 remember this si unit for mobility okay this can be uh, this can be asked as an objective question in isro exam mu p is equal to 0 0.19 given in the question volt second calculate the density of electrons in the intrinsic semiconductor also calculate the drift velocity of these charge carrier for a field of 10 kilovolt per meter if we if we have also we know that resistivity is equal to 1 upon conductivity that is equal to conductivity is given as 0 0.47 which is equal to 1 upon my conductivity is given by niq bracket mu n plus mu p okay on calculating this we can find intrinsic concentration from here that is equal to 0 0.47 into 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 that is the charge 
of one electron mu n is given as 0 0.39 plus 0 0.19 as mu p okay on calculating this intrinsic concentration intrinsic concentration will come out to be 2.29 2.29 into 10 to the power 21 per meter cube okay now they have said us to find the drift velocity of these charge carrier for the field of 10 kilovolt we know that vd drift velocity is equal to mu into my electric field that is the mobility into electric field okay for electron first we are finding for electron the drift velocity of for electron that is equal to vd equal to mu n e mu n is given as 0 0.39 into electric field is given as 10 that is equal to 3.9 kilometer per second okay similarly for hole we can also find the drift velocity that is vd equal to mu e which is equal to 0 0.19 that is given in the quotient electric field is 10 that is equal to 1.9 1.9 kilometer per second this is how we can calculate the drift velocity of these drift velocity for electron as well as for hole these are some questions based upon semiconductor physics also have also we have some we have shared some questions based on semiconductor in the group as well so please practice uh, practice this con this concept as it is the basics for electronics and it is very important uh, for isro exam where you can also ask upon the si unit of mobility what is drift velocity what is the uh, what is einstein relation and everything also you can come up with some questions in the exam so Please, if you like the video, please like, share and subscribe the channel and uh, all the best. Milton, next video.